on September 19, 2023. Officers were called to the mall in reference to an elderly lady who was caught shoplifting a felony amount of items. Oh, thank God. That's what we're talking about. All right. So, Shane, Officer Burns, I began watching her here. Okay. There's a whole list in times of every time she took something. Okay. She had these bags in there, okay. concealing it in her thing. Okay. Then I spent a bunch of time in a fitting room for an hour and a half. Before she went upstairs, though, she took that off the card, okay. discarded, discarded the card, the card in the card trash, in the garbage, and huh? then took the elevator. So that showed her intent from the beginning already. Mm -hmm. But so her, then she took the rest of this, put it in her car, went out to, was going to go out to her car. She exited right. the store. Huh? Her claim is that she was going to her car to get her to wallet. To get her wallet. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. To get her but, but, but what I'm trying to explain to you is, you can try and tell me that all this she walked out with by accident. The fact that oh. you discarded the card. And she put yeah, these garbage, three things in a Macy's bag. Yeah. Yeah. We, I've got everything. Yeah, no, she getting, did it all yeah. under the camera, so What's, it's. Whose bag is that? Yours? That's hers. That's from here? No, no that's her bag. her bag. Okay. But I took a picture of all of this, so. There's stuff in the bag, too. No, that's her bra. Okay. Yeah. She was trying okay. on dresses. Okay. I was running out so, to my car to find my phone, but okay. I still can't find. Right. I know it doesn't make sense. Yeah, you know, it doesn't. Yeah. We, we do this a lot. I know you do. Very a lot. I've gone. Unfortunately. I've gone with patience. I, I we'll get a phone for you, okay? Yeah. yeah. Mall wants 528. All right, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights real quick. I'm going to make sure you understand them. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. you understand this? Yes, I do. All right, raise your right hand for me. Swear everything you tell me is the truth? Yes, I do. All right, tell me that. Okay, so I saw when we enter the men's department, she selected various uh, items, concealed them inside her little rolly cart proceeded to go to the men's department, select clothing, then fragrances, and kept concealing them inside these huge bags, hiding them the under bags there. bags in that container? Yeah, they were okay. in the rolly okay. cart okay. thing. Right. Then she selected some jewelry and then headed over to the elevator. Then when she got off the elevator, because she was taking the jewelry off the cart uh -huh. in the elevator, when she got off the elevator, she threw the card in the trash. Okay. And had already concealed the necklace in her What did purse. the card have on it? Like the, it had a, a necklace. A, it's I mean, what was on the card? Like a, the scanner and the price? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So she just had the, the necklace in her purse right. naked. Right. Um, then she tooled around upstairs for a little bit, tried on some dresses, finally went back downstairs where she concealed a few more men's clothing items in the inside the bag. Okay. Um, and then she worked her way out to the south entrance and exited without making any attempt to purchase what she had concealed okay. in her bag. Did you watch this um, on camera or on the floor? Both. Both, in real mm -hmm. time? In real time. Okay, all right. So you can't come on mall property at all, okay? okay? If you come on mall property in the next 18 months, you're subject to arrest, okay? And that's on video. The her being told that because they always come back and like, oh, I didn't know that. You're on video and uh, you've been... You've been what do you mean mall property? M mall property. So anywhere in the mall. Not okay, just Nordstrom. The entire, like, uh, the you know how there's a ring road around the mall? You can't come anywhere within that. How do I get my gown for the wedding? I was... Call and have somebody bring it to you. Yep, you'll have to have somebody you, else you... pick it up for you. She was in the midst of altering it. No. I had to get down she wasn't it. because you haven't finish the transaction. No, I came down to get yeah. my phone and she was waiting. I'm going to call her. That's all right. I'll have her bring it down because it was your own goods. You'd already purchased it, correct? I don't know. I don't know. No. I Did was... you bring it with you? Not the hey, one Janice, that I, I need up... Maritza, please. Maybe she didn't pay for it and she dropped off the phone. Did you bring it in a box? No, the one I brought in a box we returned. Okay, so, so she did return she was it. Doing no, no, no. Was... So there's nothing. Everything's null and void. You didn't even pay for it. No, we were in the process of doing. No, that. well, unfortunately, no. you, you, Nordstrom has catered you enough today. You won't be able to purchase anything. And actually, you trespassed from Nordstrom for a period of two years, and that includes the rack and everything else. I'm going to give you those paperwork as well. And that includes online, email, phone orders, nothing. Don't even think Nordstrom for two years. Hey, Maritza. Uh, alteration, cancel her sale, cancel everything. She has just, uh, yeah, it's a felony. Let's tally it up first. 
Is this did she did she the, already the return stuff? the dress? Yeah, that's stuff she stole too. All of it. She hasn't returned it. How much do you have so far, price wise? Oh shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I'll add it up real quick, because it'll be a lot, a lot. Well, so 880150. Yeah, 880150. And I'll give you a list here in just a second. I'm going to put it in right now. What's, what's your name? Penny. Penny, <laughs> Penny <laughs> I need you to stand up. I'm going to have to search you. That's mine. Yeah, no, you're okay. under arrest. You can't take it with you. Well, I'm leaving. You're going to jail. Felony. Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah. You sold a felony amount of money or oh, okay. amount of products. You have misdemeanor and felonies. The type of crimes. Misdemeanor, you could have been released with a notice to appear, but nope, it's a felony amount. Law dictates how much a felony amount is. Anything over $270 is a felony amount. Uh, what should I be doing now? What do you mean? Should I call him? Then she got in a walk we're like, oh, let's go get her. No, you're under arrest. You can call somebody when you get down to the jail. Now I can't go after anybody. You're, you're, you're going to jail. There's no way. You can. No, it's a felony amount. You have to go to jail. You, know, you are now suffering the consequences of your actions. Put your hands in the um, I'm putting your dress in your bag. I, I have to search you, so I'm going to let you know in right. touching your areas. Can I call my husband? i got to find my phone. That's what I was going to find. Well, we, we can't leave here to go find your phone. So. You can call him from the jail. Can I call him here? She's going to be scared to death. That is, I do not have the authority to allow to say whether you can or cannot use their phones. I'm going to touch your foot and search. Is there anything at all I can do? No. No. You did it. You committed felony theft and you're going to county jail. There's no, if we don't prosecute, they do. We don't uh, have any say in it. The judge does. So when you take and me to jail, what happens? I'm going to take you to the PD. You're going to go to our holding facility. We're going to process the paperwork, all of your property. We're going to transport you to the county jail in Gun Club Road in West Palm Beach. And you'll either bond out or stay there till first appearance, or you'll see the judge. And then stay, you know, the, then from then on, you're in, in their care and custody and to do with whatever they do with you. Okay, so, so um, bond out. When do we find out how to bond out? You'll have to talk to them down there. Once we take you to county jail, you're out of our hands. You're in the you're in the justice system then, with the with the judge and the and the uh, the correctional facility. Yeah, I'm. Um, I know you don't care, but I'm on strong medication too. Okay, you'll let them know that as well. They have a nurse down there. Yeah, well, they won't have what I have. I guess. That's not my problem. Okay. Yep. I, I I feel I feel for you. You have medication you have to take, but you you think if it was that important, you wouldn't do a felony amount of theft where you go to county jail and you're without I it. Didn't, I, right. I, right. I didn't plan on stealing this stuff. I know you don't believe me, but I didn't. I was going out to find my. Phone. I don't believe you because you removed some of the stuff from the items that would that's, that would that would prevent it from being right. The necklace that I didn't even remember doing, yeah. but that's yeah. all right. Okay. I I don't know what else to do. But if I could call my husband, he could at least know <coughs> where I'm going to be. Apparently, she pulled the necklace off the box, and then put it in the bag. Too. They came, she came in with empty bags. Mm -hmm. She yeah. filled her bags. Yeah. No, I had the bags with the stuff. I got you. I've been doing this for 25 years. I know what's happening. The bags were. Yeah. I, got I know what's happening. Sent to my house. Okay, I, I understand. We're not talking about that dress. We're I understand. Not talking about that dress. Yeah. So we can at least start doing okay. some of the paperwork. Why is it so I understand. The bags. I the bags and the people that you're going to be telling the story to have, have heard it all as well. We already know. Yeah. yeah. Is there any way anybody can check to see if my phone is in my car? No. I was just broken up with it to get the... I know, you were. Alright, hang on to this, and we'll put it in your purse here in a minute. Okay, so, Penny, 
this is all the items that you took today. So go ahead and print your name and sign it. Okay, so the next thing is, this is the criminal trespass paperwork. So on here, it says that you, Penny Brooks, understand that for the unlawful activity, you are not a member of the public entitled to be in any Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, Last Chance, Halt Book, Truck Club, Jeffrey, Nordstrom Local, or any other Nordstrom locations. You further understand that you're not allowed to enter or remain on any premises belonging to Nordstrom for a period of two years. You understand? Wait, 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 no, the mall is 18 months. All these stores of Nordstrom for two years. That includes the rec. So just know that we have facial recognition. You know how I took a picture of you? So now it's going to go in the computer. And the minute you step foot inside any door belonging to Nordstrom or Nordstrom rack, where's the rack? It's over on Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard. So in case you go, I'm just telling you, then our computers start blinking. Your picture comes up and it tells us exactly where and when you enter. And then you'll be arrested for unlawful um, violation of this order, so it'll be unlawful entry. Okay, so what you'll be prosecuted for. Okay, so sign right there. This is the referral for prosecution, and I'll explain the highlighted portion. So basically, here, this is your name, and you've been detained by Nordstrom Asset Protection employee for shoplifting. We're referring this matter to the police for prosecution. Additionally, according to state law, we have the right to file a civil lawsuit against you to recover damages. You will receive a notice of civil demand offering you the opportunity to pay us an amount of damages specified by state law in exchange for our issuance of a written release from all civil liability. If you choose not to pay us the damages set forth in the notice of civil demand, we will retain our right to recover those damages by filing a civil lawsuit against you or pursuing any other remedies that are allowed under law. Remember, this is civil, that's criminal. So this is something totally different, all right? This just tells you about the, again, don't come back to trespass, all right? What you need to do is you need to call this phone number that I highlighted on there between three and five business days after today's date and speak with a representative from the Civil Claims Department about the situation and we'll discuss the civil restitution process and you'll be referring to this incident number. But do not forget to do this. Remember, this is something totally separate than the criminal. Okay. Three to five days called this number. Correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wish you the best of everything, but, you know, you got to make better choices, especially you saying how, you know, what a professional you are and stuff like that. You know. I'm going to let you, like I said, I'm going to let you use this to get walk to the, to the car. And then once we get to the car, I'll put you in handcuffs, okay? Thank you. Alright, hold on. Before, before you get in there, I have to put you in handcuffs, okay? Is that really necessary? Yes, ma'am. It is a policy. I don't care. If it, if it makes life easier for you. Right, other hand, please. 